if you are interested, I am giving away free Bibles. So what you can do is email me and we can set something up. May God bless you. Let's go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. So, what does prayer mean? Some people may not know what prayer means. So, let's look it up. A solemn request for help or expression of thanks addressed to God. So, what does supplication mean? Let's look it up. The action of asking or begging for something earnestly or humbly. So supplication is when you are asking God for something. So prayer means you are pretty much <laughs> saying the same thing in a way so when you are praying to God you are talking to God and supplication you are asking God for help so let's say I tell you hey let's pray to God what I am saying let's speak to God and supplication is is asking God for things Okay, so what does Thanksgiving mean? Let me highlight it. I did not highlight prayer, so let me do that as well. Prayer. Thanksgiving. Let's look it up. The expression of gratitude, especially to God. And some people may not know what gratitude is, so let's look it up. The quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. So gratitude you are pretty much showing your appreciation. You are thankful. For instance, someone did something for me on my birthday and <laughs> I was really, really shocked. And I am thankful for what that person did for me. Okay. So, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer. So, don't be anxious about anything. Don't be worried about anything. But in everything, what you should do is pray and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be known unto God. So what this is saying, don't be anxious or worried about anything. What you need to do is humble yourself, ask God for what you want or need. <sighs> Some people believe that you should not ask God for tangible things. Like, you should not ask God for more money. You should not ask God for more food. You should not ask God for a new car or a home or something like that. It 
if you don't have enough money to pay your bills, if you don't have enough money to eat, if you have a job and your car breaks down and it continues to break down, I am not going to ask God for those things because <laughs> God is not about that. No, anything that you are in need for, I am not saying to ask God for 20 homes and 20 cars and a bag full of money. I am not saying that. I am not saying to be in greed when you ask God for things, I am not saying that. <clears throat> but there are things that we want or need. And if we are following God's rules and regulations, why not ask? For instance, I was praying to God. I forget when about this issue maybe a week or two ago and i was asking god or telling god hey <laughs> i need new tires like three of my tires are really really bald or close to it i know for sure two are the third one is somewhat okay but i want to change that too and i was telling him I need to change these tires and I would really appreciate it if you were to give me the money for it. So when I was praying about that, I did not know how I was going to get the money to buy new tires. I just trusted in God that he was going to honor my request. So <laughs> around what is today let me see two days ago and I took my mind off of that I totally took my mind off of that and as I was stating earlier someone did something for me on my birthday and gave me enough money <laughs> gave me enough money to buy the tires I did not even ask anyone for money for tires I did not but this person <laughs> gave me the money to buy the tires my lord <laughs> something i did not expect at all because what i do when i pray for things yes i expect it to happen but when i pray for things i don't really contemplate not much I guess I don't really contemplate on how it is going to happen I just trust in God for it and when I received the money for those tires I forgot about even praying to God about the tires I was just shocked that someone would give me that much money. And when I received the money, a thought came to my mind. Kevin, you prayed about receiving new tires. So here is the money for it. And my eyes got really, really big, man soul shocked my lord there are many incentives to serving god 
many people may say that, hey, you may have to do this, you have to do that, so on and so on. But it is much more beneficial to serve God than to not serve God. So ask God for what you want. Let me say this too. Don't be so, so concerned about the time frame. With some people, if God doesn't answer their prayer within one or two days or up to a week, they give up on their prayer. What I am saying to you, don't give up. Actually, what you should do is take your mind off of it. So if you take your mind off of it, you are not going to have time to doubt or go back on what you have prayed about. Thinking to yourself, hey, God is not going to answer my prayer because it is taking too long. Don't think that way. All you have to do is ask God for what you want or need. Take your mind off of it and believe that he is going to do it. And it is going to happen. So don't be so concerned about the time frame of when you want your prayer to be answered. I know for myself. When I pray, I believe that it has happened now. Even if I don't see it or have any evidence that my prayer have been answered. That is faith. Faith is now. So when you pray for things, you are believing that it has happened now. Not later. So yes, I prayed on that day or... I don't know, a week or two ago, I guess. I don't know. Now, it took one to two weeks for, the, for that money to come. But I was not attached to the time frame. I just knew that I was going to receive those tires. And... I am praying about other things as well, believing that they have happened even though I don't have them, have them in my possession now. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.